struggling with low storage even after deleting your files? Or wondering why your Mac shows 60 GB of system data and won't explain what's inside? You try restarting, you clear downloads, you even remove apps, and the storage issue still sits there, unbothered? In this video, I'll show you how to clean up system data the right way, using built-in tools, so you can free up space and boost your Mac speed without any hassle. Click the Apple logo in the top left, choose System Settings, scroll down and click General. Then click Storage. You'll see a color-coded breakdown. System data is usually gray and vague. It often includes logs, caches, uh, old updates, and more. Now that we know where to look, it's time to clean Open Finder, from the top menu click Go, Hold, Option, Key, click Library, this reveals hidden folder, inside Library, um, open Caches folder, select everything with Command plus A, press Command plus Delete, um, empty the trash, then go back and open, open Logs folder, delete all files inside, you're not deleting anything critical. Um, just temporary files that keep piling up. In Finder menu, click Go to Folder, type this. If you see huge folders here, these are old iPhone or iPad backups you might not need anymore. Drag them to trash if they're outdated. Here's a tip. Don't remove the most recent backup if you still sync via Finder. Open Terminal and type the following. You'll see a list of old local backups with timestamps. Now run, repeat for each date. These snapshots can eat tens of gigabytes of invisible space. Back to Finder and go to Folder. Type, delete any old folders here. This is where macOS stores leftover update files. Go to delete large or old log files. Be careful not to delete active files. Look for files over 100 MB plus. So now your Mac's system data isn't a mystery anymore. It's something you can actually control. Here's what I'd suggest. After following these steps, restart your Mac and check the system setting storage again. Notice the difference? You just did what most people think requires a third-party app, and your Mac's performance will thank you for it. Here's your next move. Bookmark this video right now, seriously, because system data creeps back quietly over time. A quick revisit every two, three months can keep your Mac running like day one. Without wasting money on cleanup apps you don't need,